have the giver lay on the bed on their back head tilted back over the edge of the bed safety is a real concern and i'm not just talking stis ruptured airways also known as a tracheobronchial injury aren't the only possible deep throating injury other injuries include throat rawness throat bruising gagging and vomiting all that said deep throating itself isn't actually dangerous do me a favor please get out of here deep throating is typically safe but like most sexual activities you might try there is some risk if you don't know your personal limits or listen to your body signs you may be pushing yourself too far you feel like you're choking your throat feels raw you're unintentionally in bracket gagging you're unintentionally vomiting all that said yes sexually transmitted infection can be transferred through oral knocking deep throating shouldn't be your first rodeo being deep throated can feel pleasurable for the receiver because the throat is tighter than the mouth and some people find it sexy visually deep throating someone can be pleasurable because the amount of pleasure you're giving someone can be an ego stroke plus doing so makes you feel powerful but deep throating is advanced oral sex territory and not for blowjob beginners there is quite a bit of technique involved with taking a joystick or dildo that far into the mouth and you need to learn to control your breathing and distract your gag reflex general do's and don'ts when deep throating before i get into the down and dirty deeds of dt let's get some oral sex basics out of the way start slow don't go from zero to deep truth gradually work your way up to having the entire phallus into your mouth spend some time licking the shaft circling the head suckling the tip and flicking the frenulum you can increase the pace and amount of joystick or dildo in your mouth as momentum builds don't ignore the head the head of the joystick is a bed of sensitive nerve endings. That means some joystick owners will love having it touched directly between the deep throat thrusts and others may find it overstimulating. Use verbal and non-verbal communication to find out what your partner likes. Are they shifting their hips towards your mouth when you focus on the tips? Arts are good. They enjoy having their head stimulated. Are they shifting their hips away or grimacing when you focus on the tip? Arts are, they don't. You can also ask, do you like when I lick the head? Or is it too sensitive? Pay attention to their body language. You shouldn't only pay attention to their body language cues when you graze the tip. You always want to be tuned into those cues throughout. They give you insight into what your partner does like or doesn't like. Lock eyes. One of the best ways to ramp up the intimacy quotient of the protein is to stare down your partner as you do. Or, you know, you were not informed to gaze lovingly into their eyes like the softy that you are. Continue. Use more than just your mouth. It is called oral sex, <laughs> not oral only sex we do keep quiet in other words use your hands using your hands is a great way to keep your mouth from getting tired as well as a great way to stimulate the entire joystick and build up sensation add lube when you start using your hands you may want more than spit to support the slide and glide of your hands along the shaft any lube can be helpful but flavored lubricants can add additional sense or taste into the experience for you very important to note avoid numbing lube if you use a numbing lubricant you're not going to be able to tune into your body's limits your throat will likely be very raw when the numbing agent disappears if you want to practice grab a doodle. You don't want to use a hot dog, banana, or cucumber. 
but practicing putting a dildo or your own fingers into your mouth will help you learn how deep you can comfortably take a partner. If you're worried about being able to breathe, the throating a phallus isn't like wearing a butt plug, meaning while a butt plug goes in the hole and stays in the hole, the phallus should constantly be moving in and out of the truth plunge motion so long as the phallus is in motion breathing shouldn't be an issue if you're worried about gagging to gag or not to gag that is the question yes it is a choice how to avoid it to avoid gagging figure out how far the doodle or the joystick can go into your throat without you gagging and then make a ring with your fingers at that point and only go down to that point optional choke the part below your fingers with your hands or a vibrator how to lean into it some people enjoy thinking they are so big that they make their partner gag so you might allow yourself gag or perform gagging to stroke their ego and put on a show if you're worried about vomiting or it happens vomiting while the throating may sound like a big deal but it doesn't have to be if you vomit just rinse your mouth out and hop into the shower with your boot so you can rinse the vomit off positions to try any position that optimizes the opening of the truth with the angle of the phallus is ideal lay for throat action have the giver lay on the bed on their back head tilted back over the edge of the bed which opens up the truth next have the receiver straddle the giver's mouth rocking their hips forward and back to slide their beats in and out of the giver's throat the receiver might hold a one vibrator against the giver's beats while they do so number two standard face it the most classic bj position of all times starts from your knees depending on the height and angle of your partner's goods that may work just fine for deep throating too if their joystick or dildo is tilted down and they are taller than you it will work ditto goes if it has an upward tilt and is lower than your mouth otherwise the angle may not be ideal number three missionary for this one the receiver lies on their back and the giver crawls between their legs and socks this configuration gives the giver a bit of a leverage and control allowing them to pull back when needed what to you know do there are a few different techniques when you're ready to take the dildo or the joystick deep into your mouth you're going to inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth saying ah as the joystick or dildo plunges straight down into your throat the ah reminds you to breathe helps open up your throat creates a vibration that distracts your gag reflex and provides additional buzzy sensation for the joystick or the dildo and that is how to perfectly deep throat safely i don't need to explain what i mean by deep throating you should already know and i'm going to see you next time in my next video Bye bye